welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining for yet another real time workout. Today I'm in my apartment in Dubai. The sun is shining and I am very happy indeed. Um, today's one is actually going to be slightly different. It's all about the core. I know I've done so many core and abs workouts for you guys in the past, but the reason why this one is different is because we all know that sexy abs look great. We all know that having a flat stomach helps us feel confident, but some of the things that we don't necessarily think about is the fact that actually having a strong core can help prevent injuries, having a strong core can help prevent women's health related problems, prolapses, ladies you know what I'm talking about, even leaking down in that area, all of these exercises are way deeper than just thinking about the outer core and it's so important that we get these exercises right. So basically that we have the correct form while we're doing them. Now, that's what today is all about. We are slowing the movements down, we're keeping them controlled and we are focusing on the deep core muscles, activating them, working them and working that inner core. That's what today is all about. There are two types of core work that you can do. There is core strength and core stability very similar, however they are different. So we're not gonna to go too much into that, I'm just gonna let you guys flow with me, follow me, don't be fooled. Although some of these exercises are super slow and controlled, they are gonna burn. So if you have one, I want you to grab a weight for me. This is a five kg, it's actually quite heavy. I would recommend for those of you who are more beginner intermediate to go for around a two kg, maybe a three kg, if you don't have that, grab a large bottle of water and that's absolutely fine. Without further ado, we're gonna get started. So we're gonna start off with the legs long across the mat like we have in the past. I want that weight next to you, okay? Sitting really nice and upright like you're a puppet on a string. Pull the core in nice and tight. The arms are out in front of you with the palms facing in or up. Okay, from there, relax the shoulders, take a deep breath in. On the breath out, roll back to your biting point in that nice C shape. Pull those stomach muscles in. Work that core already. Breathe. We're going to hold there, keep holding for three, for two, and one. Now, without the weight, we're just going to open and close back again. Keeping that arm slightly bent, open and back. Now, you're following the hand with the eyes and back. Breath out, open. Breath in, close. Four to go. Close. Close. If it's too easy, lower a little bit. Close. Last one. And close. You guessed it. We're adding in the weight. The arms are slightly bent. Open. And close. Changing side. Close. Now we're working those arms as well as the core. Really good. Three to go. Two to go. Last one. Good. Now hold that weight in front of you. Slightly bent arms. If you've got a lighter weight, you can straighten them out. If you really want to challenge yourself, keep them straight. You're going to lower an inch only and come back up. Look, I can get my words out. The deep core muscles. Okay, hold at the top 
now and we're going to pump, pulling that core in nice and tight and working the pelvic floor. Good, last four, three, two, and one, amazing. From there, you're going to keep hold of the weight, but this time you're going to pop it just under the knee joint, okay? In between the shins. Hook the ankles over each other, come on up into a crunch, flatten the lower back into the mat, and we're going to pump the arms up and down, Pilates hundreds. A breath in for five, and a breath out for five. So while you're here, concentrating on that core being nice and tight, keep going, concentrating on the pelvic floor being nice and tight as well. Squeezing those back muscles a little bit, and pulling that core in tight. Breath in, two, three, four, five. Breath out, two, three, four, five. Breath in, two, three, four, five. Breath out, two, three, four, five. Nearly halfway. And down. Two, three, four, five. Now, if you can, anyone more advanced, straighten those legs out and keep going. Keep going. Everyone else who's struggling, just pop the feet down gently and keep going there. Do not give up. We have 30 left. Keep that core nice and tight. Those of you with straight legs, well done. Last 20. Three, four, five, and down. Two, three, four, five. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Amazing. Knees into chest just for a second before we go straight into that next exercise, okay? So we're gonna go with hip opening now. So the weight can go to the side. From there, lower the body down, relax the arms, bring yourself up into single leg tabletop, 90 degrees at the knees and the hips. Mirror that with the other leg, okay? From there, keep that lower back flat. If you want to, you can come up into a crunch, and you're gonna open one leg out, keeping the other leg completely still, and draw it back in again. Open, and draw back. Breath out, open, breath in, close. And close. Trying to keep that lower back nice and flat. Trying to keep those hips really nice and stable. So this is working the hip joints, the core, the pelvic floor. Keep breathing. Six left. Good. You should be feeling that burn. Four left. Good. If you need to lower the head down, you can. If you can come up into that crunch, amazing. Good, last one. We're going to hold up here. Now we're going to support the head. And we're going to open, straighten, bend back and close. Open, straighten, bend back and close. Six to go. Open, straighten, bend back and close. Five left. Come on, keep that core nice and tight, bend back. And close, four to go. Bend back and close, three left. My hands are shaking, I don't know about yours guys. Two left, open, straighten, bend back and close. Last one. And close, amazing. Knees into chest, have a quick little rock there. Enjoy before we go into the next exercise, okay? So we're gonna come on up into sitting now. From here, I want the feet gently resting on the mat, grabbing hold of your weights, and from there you're gonna roll back to your biting point. Gently rest those toes, and we're gonna rotate into a Russian twist. Taking the um, weight from hip joint to hip joint, and following that with your eye gaze. Keep it controlled. Come really nice and low if you can. Amazing. So nearly there. Ten to go. Eight. Seven. Nearly there. Six. Five. Two. And one. Hold that weight out. We're going to do ten more of those lift and lowers. This will feel a lot harder than it did during the warm-up. Good, seven left. And remember not to arch that back. Have a quick look at the screen. This is arch. We want to tuck under and almost slump into a C shape. Four left. Three left. Two. Now we're going to do a 10 second hold. Pull, pull that core in tight. Eight. Seven. Six. Lower a bit more. Five. Pull that pelvic floor in. Three, two, and one. Wow. Have a lie down, guys. We're not quite there yet. We still have three exercises left. Oh, okay, next one is 
stays flat. If you start arching, you're at risk of a back injury, keep going. But also you're not working the core at all here, guys. You're working the erector spinae a little bit in the lower back. But we're trying to work the core, so you need to flatten. Keep going for me. We've got six left. Four left. Elbows wide, high in the crunch. Eye gaze in between the thighs. Two. And one. Amazing. From there, we're going to go straight into dead bugs. You already know this one, guys. Your hand, your palm, I should say, is going to go on your inner thigh. Okay, from there, other arm up. Let's go. No more than 90 degrees if you can with that knee. Really good work. 10. Last six. Last two. And one. Knees into chest. Have a quick little rock there. You have one exercise left. And it is a repeat of hundreds. Then we are done. You should be feeling that core nice and tight. Okay, you're going to take a hold of your weight again, place it in between the shins again, okay, and from there, we're going to go into hundreds, let's go, breath in, two, three, four, five, breath out, two, three, four, five, now if you can, straighten the legs out, if you're struggling, drop the legs down like we did before, but don't give up, okay, two, three, four, five, breath in, two, three, four, five, and out, two, three, Five, that's 40. Really good work, guys. Out, two, three, four, five, that's 50. Don't let those knees come into the chest, okay? Keep them at 90 degrees if you can. 40 left, three, four, five, and out, two, three, four, five. Now, can anyone straighten? Four, five, and out, two, three, four, five, plus 20. Come on, pull that core in nice and tight. I am regretting this 5K tune. Last 10, nine. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! We made it. That was pretty intense. Reach the arms up and over the heads. Allow that ribcage to flare. Breathe. And you made it through another one, guys. Short, but incredibly tough. That was not easy. Well done. Please remember with all of these workouts, I am a chartered physiotherapist, so all of the tips that I give you are backed up by our anatomy. So it's all about working the muscles in the right way, basically to make sure that you are getting the most from your workouts. Your workouts don't have to be really, really long, but they do have to be precise. So I really hope that helped you. Please give this video a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and also share this video with your friends, with your family, anyone who you feel would benefit from it. There's a little share link down below because as you know, all of my workouts are totally free for all of you um, and I just want to help you all. So I want to spread the love as much